A ver, ya, ya, cuéntanos. Vamos a hablar. How have you been, Grant? Just fine, dear. I'm sorry I bothered you at work, but um, I was hoping you'd get a chance to go through your father's things in the attic. Don't be silly. You can call me anytime. Vale, vamos a agotar todas estas conversaciones, como siempre. Pero, uh, pero primero vamos a a tu room. Tell me about our family. Who would you like to hear about? Your granddad, your father, or your mother? Harrison Knight. Tell me something about Granddad. Your Granddad immigrated to America when he was 21. He walked his way through school, met and married me, and we had your father, Philip. Okay. Mas? Tell me something about Granddad. Your Granddad supported me and your father with bookkeeping. <clears throat> oh, I tell you what, though, he hated every minute of it. Didn't really like bookkeeping one bit. Maybe that was why he had the worst luck with jobs. Oh, the nights he'd come home afraid to tell me he lost another. And I'd tell him it didn't matter to me, but he felt ashamed, Gabriel. Ah. El orgullo herido. Tell me something about Granddad. Harrison was only 36 when he died. Your father was eight years old at the time. Your granddad was hit by a streetcar in the business district. It took me nearly a year to believe he was really gone. I'm sorry, Grant. Oh, I know you are, dear. Algo más? Tell me something about granddad. Did you know that your granddad was a poet? He was. He wrote the most beautiful poetry for me when we were courting. I always thought he should have done something with that gift, but he was such a practical man. Didn't believe in chasing after dreams. Vale, pues ahora sobre el papa. Tell me about my father. Your father was my only child. How we adored him. Tell me about my father. Philip suffered from terrible nightmares, just like your granddad did. Ah? Oh, they were two peas in a pod. Es algo familiar, entonces. Tell me about my father. When Philip met your mother, oh, it was love at first sight. They were married two weeks later. Never looked at a girl seriously until then, and he looked at plenty. You have your father's way with women, Gabriel. And your granddad's. <laughs> Muy bien. Tell me about my father. I wanted to just lay down and die when he and your mother were killed in that car crash when you were only eight. It was the thought of taking care of you that kept me going, Gabriel. The police say your father swerved off the road after being frightened by something. Perhaps a deer in the road or, or a wildcat. Como se corrió una, una maldición sobre la familia, ¿verdad? Tell me about my father. Your granddad wanted Philip to have a normal life. He was obsessed by that thought. He pushed Philip to go to law school, but Philip was driven to art. He painted almost in a daze. He would get so inside himself when he worked. Tell me about my father. He always hated that it was Margaret's money that supported the three of you when his painting couldn't. I kept telling him, try something more cheerful, like a landscape or two, but he couldn't do it. His work was just too dark and disturbing for the public, you know. Yeah. I heard the mama. The mama. Tell me about my mother. Your mother was Margaret Templeton when your father met her. She came from a very wealthy Creole family in New Orleans. She was beautiful and reckless. She was madly in love with your father, of course, but I also think she liked to find her family. Since you're so interested in family history these days, why don't you go by St. Louis Cemetery Number 1 and visit the family tomb? It would be such a sweet gesture. It's just past the Ross tomb, right? Oh, maybe I will. 
Vale, ahí tenemos una, ahí tenemos una vía, perfecto. Tell me about my mother. Your mother's family refused to give her money after the marriage. All she had left was a modest trust fund from her great aunt, who happened to like Philip. The remainder of your mother's trust fund became yours when she died. That's what you used to open your bookshop. Tell me about my mother. The Templetons are all gone now. Every last one of them. Oh, they never wanted anything to do with us, of course. What a waste. Vale, pues, pop, 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 vamos. What can you tell me about voodoo? Voodoo? What an odd question, Gabriel. Of course, you always were interested in monster movies and all that other weird stuff. You get that from your father and granddad. I don't know anything about it, dear. Of course, it was very big in New Orleans at one time, but you don't hear so much about it these days. Too much else in the world to worry about, I guess. What can you tell me about the voodoo murders? Oh, Gabriel, nothing. And I don't want to. I sometimes wonder what this world is coming to. What can you tell me about New Orleans? New Orleans is very southern, of course. Though not as much as it used to be when I was a girl. It's gotten much more influenced by the East Coast and that California stuff. Still, it hasn't changed as much as other places, I reckon. We've always been happy here. What can you tell me about New Orleans? My goodness, boy, you lived here all your life, just like me. I can't tell you much that you don't already know. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? St. John's Eve? Hmm. I remember when I was a girl, we always had a St. John's Eve Mass. The Mass was said at midnight, and we held candles. One time, on the way home, we were waylaid by a large group of drunken revelers. They didn't hurt us, but, oh, I was frightened. My father was furious. We never went to St. John's Eve Mass after that. Hmm. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? I haven't celebrated it in years, Gabriel. I'm sure there's still Mass in the more traditional churches, but I don't go. A ver. Have you ever heard of Marie Laveau? Marie Laveau? Oh, of course. She was that voodoo woman, wasn't she? She preyed on people's fears and superstitions, is what I think. There are always those willing to take other people's money for nothing. You stay away from people like that, Gabriel. <laughs> yes, Graham. Necesitamos dinero. Yes. Do you know anything about snakes? Snakes? What kind of snakes, dear? Um, I don't know. Local kinds. Well, we used to get cotton mouths in the park when I was a girl, but I haven't heard of one being sighted for years. Milk snakes and garter snakes are also around these parts, but they can't hurt you. Thanks, Graham. Do you know anything about animal masks? Why, no, dear. Do you mean Mardi Gras masks? Uh, never mind, Graham. Can you tell me anything about a secret voodoo houndfall? Gabriel, my goodness. What are you up to these days? Oh, nothing, Graham, really. You'd better not be. You know you're the only family I have left. I know, Graham. It's okay. Do you know anything about black voodoo? I don't know much about any kind of voodoo, Gabriel. Does the phrase Cabri Sanko mean anything to you? Hmm. Something without something, I think. Oh, my French is so rusty, I swear my mind is going. No, it's okay. Thanks. You know, you get prettier every time I see you. Oh, you. Does the name Ogun mean anything to you? What, dear? Never mind. Have you ever heard of Dambala? What, dear? Never mind. 
que quiero agotar, quiero agotar conversaciones. Tell me about yourself. Me? Surely you have something more interesting to talk about. No, come on, Gran. Oh, all right, dear. What do you want to hear? Tell me how you met Granddaddy. Oh, I met Helson at a church revival. There was a traveling preacher back then, a big fella named Reverend Jim. I even remember his slogan, Come to me to find your way. Your granddad was sitting right behind me and my girlfriend, Alma. And at one point, old Reverend Jim was flinging his hair around with his fine brimstone annex. And a piece of it, one of those small add-on dues for men, went yeah. flying off. <laughs> oh, I swear, Helson and I were the only ones that noticed. We both started laughing to beat the band. Everyone looked at us like we were a couple of loonies. <laughs> oh, it was then I knew that he was for me. ¿Qué dice el tardos? ¿Cómo estamos? What do you do all day? You know how I love to knit and work in my garden. I also take long walks. It's the only way to keep an old body like mine from stiffening up. You're not old. Oh, don't be foolish. I'm older than the hills. Tell me about before you met Granddaddy. Well, you know I was born Rebecca Wright. My daddy owned a lot of land outside of town. We grew peas and corn and cotton, all kinds of things. It was a good childhood, but my father was very strict. He didn't much let me out of his sight. How you feeling these days? Fit as a fiddle, and don't you worry your head about it. Just tell me anything at all. I had your father when I was 22. The doctors told me I couldn't have any more after him, so I'm afraid I spoiled him rotten. Just tell me anything at all. I hate to admit it, but I was a jealous little thing when your granddaddy and I were younger. I loved him so ferociously, and he did attract the eyes of the ladies whether he wanted to or not. Oh, nothing. Never mind. All right, dear. Eh, vale, nos vamos a ir. De... No, no creo que. No creo que haya nada más. ¿verdad? What's new, Grand? I've been working on baby sweaters for the church bazaar. Keeps me busy. Vale. Oh, nothing. Never mind. All right, dear. Vamos a ir a ver. Vamos a ir a ver. I'm gonna go up to the attic, Grand. Be careful of the dust. Supongo que será el baúl, claro. The old trunk looks like it's gone to hell and back. It looks pretty heavy. There's a lot of granddad's old stuff in here. Might be something interesting. Okay, una biblia. La, la billetera no tiene nada. ¿No? Una llave. What's this? It's some sort of key. Some old clothes, including a pair of leather shorts. Aren't those called lederhosen? A bundle of letters. Love letters between Harrison and Rebecca. Uh -huh. More of Harrison Knight's German books. Just what I need. Nada 
Nada más. The brass bed frame is from God knows where. I think I'll leave that up here. An elaborate mechanical clock, probably of German origin, is among the discarded treasures of the attic. I think I'll leave that up here. Hmm. There's an interesting design in the base of the clock. Sí, es un cajón, ¿no? Ah. Okay. Nothing happens. There's an interesting design in the base of the clock. Vale, esto... Necesitamos el símbolo adecuado, ¿verdad? Claro. Necesitamos el símbolo adecuado para que se abra... That box of knickknacks has been up here for at least five years. I think I'll leave that up here. It's an old dusty bicycle tire. Hay algo que me está dando una pista aquí. I think I'll leave that up here. These old picture frames have been up here for years. I think I'll leave that up here. Okay, algo más. The sheet covered upholstered rocker used to be in Gabriel's nursery. What's that, Wolf? It's Granddaddy's old golf bag. Golf was never my game. I'm not sure what my game was, but it wasn't golf. Si hay alguna pista aquí no me la están dando, eh. A skylight lets welcome sunlight into the attic. Grandma's attic is a storehouse of forgotten treasures and useless junk. It's a lady's hat from the 1920s. And from Grand's Virginia Wolf period. I think I'll leave that up here. ¿Qué será? Frente del reloj. The face of the clock is hand painted. A ring of six symbols surrounds the face of the clock. A sword, a sun, an angel, a noose, an eclipse, and a dragon. The ring of symbols doesn't appear to have any mechanical function, but it does move. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ah, sí, claro. Vete tú a saber, eh. There's an interesting design in the base of the clock. Nothing happens. Vale. Lo miraremos. Voy a intentar preguntarle a la abuela a ver si sabe algo. No tengo por aquí ninguna... No. No creo que 
sea, claro. Si sabe algo y si no, nos vamos. Can we talk, Gran? Of course, my boy. How can I help? Nope. Nope. Oh, nothing. Never mind. All right, dear. Vale, vamos a hablar con los. con el doctor John y con Willy. Bueno, pero espera, antes de hablar con esta gente, a lo mejor me vas a una tienda y vendo el cuadro. Así de paso cuando vayamos con Willy. Hey kids. Mm. Bruno. Gay pet. I just popped in to see if you're desperate enough to sell me that painting. How much would you give me for it? Oh, you're serious? You'll let me have it? Gabriel, don't you dare sell your father's painting. Yeah, I'll let you have it all right. How much for the painting? Hmm, well... I could give you a hundred. That's all I can let go at the moment, you know. My affairs are so tied up. Gabriel, a hundred dollars for your father's painting? Stay out of this, Grace. Okay. Fine. It's yours. Gabriel! Here. Here's the hundred. You better take good care of this, Bruno. This is not just another of your hip art pieces, you know. Really? Well, I fully intend to make the most of its display. Though not for your sake, I'm sure. At least in my shop, there'll be a chance of someone actually seeing it. I can't believe I actually got it. Just wait until I show Sid. I don't believe you. It's, it's just a painting, Grace. There are things I have to do. That wall sure looks bare without Daddy's painting. A ver. Vale, tenemos cien pavos. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Vale, nada. ¿Qué hago si me voy primero a... a... A la tienda esta. Vamos. Esto no es una. Esto no es lo que yo esperaba, eh. A street drummer has found a spot outside the Napoleon house. Claro. Gabriel can't do anything with the drummer on the street. A small table, recently deserted, holds the remains of someone's drink. Pensé que esto era una joyería, eh. No lo es. Pues vuelvo en salida. No lo es, pues vuelvo luego. Porque quiero hablar con esta gente primero. Hello, Dr. John. Glad you could return to us, Mr. Knight. Aquí no se ve por la cámara, pero hay un látigo de, de nueve colas. Could I ask you some more questions? Of course. I also find our dialogue stimulating. Do you know anything about a secret voodoo houndfall? Don't be ridiculous, Mr. Knight. The voodoo churches in the city have no need for secrecy. Have you ever heard of Dambala? Of course. It is one of the Loa. What can you tell me about the Loa Dambala? Dambala is a sneak Loa. It originated in Africa and is also worshipped heavily in Haiti, I believe. Do you worship Dambala? Mr. Knight. In Voodoo, all of the Loa are given their due respect. 
What else can you tell me about the Loire d'Ambala? I am afraid I have little else to say about that subject. Allez. Does the name Ogun Badagri mean anything to you? I do not believe so. Isn't he one of the Loire? Hmm. Perhaps. I am not familiar with some of the more obscure Haitian and African Loire. Are you sure you don't know anything about Ogun Badagri? Quite sure, Mr. Knight. Do you know anything about Veves? I believe they have something to do with Haitian voodoo. But that is not really my area. Do you know anything else about Veves? I am afraid I have little else to say about that subject. Hmm. Esquivo, eh? Do you know anything about black voodoo? That sort of viewpoint makes my work very difficult, Mr. Knight. If there are one or two ignorant believers, that is none of my concern. And I do not care to promote a Hollywood interpretation of voodoo by discussing it. You really don't know anything about black voodoo practices? I believe I already indicated my intolerance for that line of inquiry. Es tocho, ¿eh, Doctor Guión? Jugar, jugar poco con el Doctor Guión, porque te destroza, pavo. Ay. A ver. Acéptame 100 pavos, hombre, no seas, no seas rata. Can I ask you just a few more questions? Pfff, whatever, man. I found out what Cabri Sancal means. How did you know about human sacrifice? I never said them words, monsieur. You must have heard them from someone else. Do you know anything about a secret voodoo houndfall? <laughs> There's no such thing. Not around here. Do you know anything about black voodoo? Black voodoo? <laughs> no such thing. I'll tell you for sure. Does the name Ogun Badagri mean anything to you? Don't talk like that around here, man. Do you know anything about Veves? Like the ones in the voodoo rituals they do for the tourists? Right. They curiosities, no? This a curio shop. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting. Have you ever heard of Dambala? Dambala is an African legend about a great serpent. Folklore, that's all. Would you take 50 for Willie Jr.? Don't insult me, monsieur. The price is $120. What? You said you'd sell it for 100 before. <clears throat> you misheard, monsieur. The price was always $120. A ver, ¿qué pasa si le doy el dinero directamente a ver qué dice? Would you take 50 for Willie Jr.? Don't insult me, monsieur. The price is $120. What? You said you'd sell it for 100 before. <clears throat> you misheard, monsieur. The price was always $120. Okay, to get the mask, Gabriel would have to buy it. Uh... Vamos al mirador. Four pairs of binoculars are rigorously mounted on the cement floor. Those binoculars aren't going anywhere without a jackhammer. No se puede mover, ¿no? Supongo. Madame Lorelei, the fortune teller, is garbed in a belly dancer's outfit and wears a boa around her neck. A real boa. Vale. A Cajun band. 
inventive as always with their instruments, is having a good old time on the lawn. Funny how catchy that toe tapping can be. Hacemos algo con alguno de ellos. That's Crash. Huh. What the hell is he up to with that drama? Huh. Crash and the drama. Interesting. Esto es la cuestión de perseguir de por aquí o simplemente había que venir aquí para ver eso. Vale, vámonos. Hemos visto algo interesante. Okay. No creo que esté, ¿no? O sea, no creo que podamos bajar aquí abajo y simplemente... Podremos hablar con con ella. Come on, boys, hoopla. Ahí lo intentamos, ¿eh? Thanks, boys. The booth is a colorful melange. It announces the owner as Madame Lorelei and gives prices for palm readings $20, crystal ball gazing $15, and birth charts $50. Madame Lorelei lounges at the booth, fondling her snake. Madam Lorelei, is it? What can I do for you, handsome? Vale, no, nothing. Well, then move aside, sweetie, but stay where I can look at you, okay? La idea era ver si podías contratar sus servicios. Pero no, no puedes. Vale, es que estoy evitando ir aquí primero. Voy a, voy a quemar sitios. Voy a quemar sitios. Mind if I pick your brain a minute? Go ahead. These folks ain't in no hurry. A ver. Do you know anything about a secret voodoo houndfall? I don't know nothing about that. Do you know anything about black voodoo? Black voodoo? I've seen lots of voodoo markings in this cemetery. I've seen graves dug up and stuff you don't want to know about stolen from them. But voodoo? Black voodoo? Sounds like a devil of a distinction, if you ask me. Do you know anything about black voodoo? I told you, it's all one to me. Have you ever heard of Dombala? I don't know what you're talking about. Does the name Ogun Badagri mean anything to you? I don't know what you're talking about. Vale, vamos a ver si encontramos. The name Ross is inscribed on this old tomb. My family's tomb is down that way, past the Ross tomb. Vale. Esta es. The Wright family tomb. Several of Gabriel and Grand's family members are laid to rest here. Algo que tener en cuenta aquí. 
A glass of pink thing. An odd monument highlights one grave site. It looks vaguely reptilian. The marble residents of this city of the dead say nothing. The marker reads, Meryl plant a right. These are grands, folks. I never knew them. Gabriel doesn't want to take the nameplates from his family tomb. Oh, uh, hi. I'm Rebecca's grandson. Much as when they were alive, the right elders give no response. The marker reads, Harrison Knight. Granddaddy. How's it going, Granddaddy? DeMarco reads, Margaret Templeton Knight. My mother. Miss you, Mom. Someone has left a small vase by the Wright family tomb. Not sure who else comes here besides me and Gran, but that was nice of them. DeMarco reads, Philip Knight. Daddy. Qué triste, ¿no? Hey, Daddy. Oh, shoot. Huh. Looks like someone left something in that vase. Veinte pavos? ¿Es dinero? Inside the broken vase. Gabriel sees a twenty-dollar bill. Vale, perfecto. Ya tenemos suficiente para la máscara. Looks like it's my lucky day. Joder, que no iba a decir. Pero qué cojones. Qué maravilla. Demarco reads Harley Wright. Grand sister. She died young. Vamos a terminar de hacerlo por si acaso. Grand talks a lot about you, Harley. Demarco reads, Franklin Wright. These are grands, folks. I never knew them. Oh, uh, hi. I'm Rebecca's grandson. Much as when they were alive, the Wright elders give no response. A statue of a small child clings to a cross atop the Wright tomb. This family tomb bears the inscription, Rest in peace, and the name Fuller Mill. This above ground tomb is only large enough to accommodate one resident. Vale, vamos a ir directamente desde aquí. Hablar con... Con Willy. Ay. Mhm. A ver. 120 pavos. I have 120 dollars. You still want to sell that crocodile mask? That's 120 shona. That mask is yours, sir. La toga también, ¿no? Here you go. Carefully, don't bite you now. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Now, don't you go forgetting your lag nap. A free bottle of master gambling oil. The sign said I could get Lady Luck oil instead. Well, I was thinking a man as young as you wouldn't be needing that kind of remedy. But, uh, if you was having problems with your, uh. Oh, uh, that's all right. Uh, Believe me, I don't need it. I'll just stick with this. Thanks anyway. <laughs> Cause it ain't none of my business if you do need it now, huh? <laughs> I don't need it. Oh, of course you don't. Hey, cabrón. Ahora es desbloqueado. What a crock. What a crock. The small bottle is labeled Master Gambling Oil. A, a saber qué es. 
the crocodile mask is made of genuine crocodile head. It looks heavy, hot, and smelly. Vale, no se puede ver. Okay. About that crocodile mask. Mm, we don't give no refunds on headgear. Can I ask you just a few more questions? Psst, whatever, man. Ya está. Vámonos al, vámonos al museo. A ver si nos dice algo, doctor Guión de la Máscara. Hello, Dr. John. Glad you could return to us, Mr. Knight. What do you think of my crocodile mask? ¿Qué pasa, Joe? Nice. Could I ask you some more questions? Of course. I also find our dialogue stimulating. Vale. Eh, pues el siguiente paso será el parque, creo. La casa de Napoleón. 